Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2015, and this is a follow-up to my recent video, Nibiru Moon Next to the Sun, Jeff P, where we looked at uh, one of uh, Jeff P's videos, where he claimed to be showing uh, Nibiru's moon rising with the sun. Uh, now there's a comment, I'm just going to scroll down, this is my video that I uploaded yesterday, but I'm going to scroll down to this um, comment that was left, and I won't try and pronounce the name because I'll, I'll probably butcher it. Um, but this comment was left, if you watch his most recent video, he does the finger test without blocking out the light source, and you can see the object on his fingers. They purposely mess up the finger test in order to keep the viewers coming back, because they know if done correctly, the Nibiru disappears. And as you can see, I've replied, uh, ah, so I see, so I've taken a look at the video. Even though he hasn't done it properly, he still debunks his own video, because we see his Nibiru's moon over his finger. Case closed. So we'll take a look at that. In this, um, in this video by Jeff P, which is his most recent video, uh, this video was uploaded before I did my video, but um, I think I looked at the, the first part of this video and didn't see anything outstanding. And um, if I had gone through, I probably wouldn't have noticed that he did actually do the finger test at the end, though he's really butchered it, as we're going to see here. Um, just to go back to the other video that I showed in my first video, the, uh, the finger test being demonstrated by BBQ Stew, um, where he does the finger test properly. He holds his finger right out in front of the camera, not up close to the camera lens, but right out in front of the camera. Otherwise, his finger would appear very large if it was up close to the camera. And first of all, he puts his finger in front of the sun uh, to block out the, uh, the, the sunlight to see if his Nibiru or second sun object uh, disappears, and then he places his finger over the object to see if it's superimposed over his finger. Let's have another look at that and uh, just see. So there we go, the Nibiru or second sun disappears. And uh, in the second part of the test, he brings his finger out to the side where the uh, Nibiru object is, and we see clearly that it is now superimposed over his finger. But if we go back to Jeff P's latest video and take a look at that, um, we can see that this finger test is, is rather butchered. And you actually hear Jeff say, it's over my finger. So, in fact, he debunks his own videos at the moment that we see his Nibiru moon, as he calls it, over his finger. It's very hard to see his finger, but I'll put the link in the description area, and you can play his video for yourself and listen to what he says and check it out for yourself. So, let's watch a bit of that now. So, it's hard to see, but that's actually his finger. The dark that we see is actually his finger, and I'm just trying to get it at the right spot there. So this dark area is actually his finger, and he, here is his Nibiru moon, as he claims it to be, is actually over his finger. So he's actually debunked himself there. Now in this particular video, we notice too that the imagery is certainly not as nice and clear as we see in these other videos, uh, like the one that I showed in my first uh, response video. We can clearly see the sun, we can clearly see the, um, the, the reflection, which he claims is uh, Nibiru's moon. Let me just open that one up again. We're going to take a look at something else. Now, it's been pointed out that we can see the trees uh, in, in this object here, as if we're looking directly at an object and seeing trees silhouetted. Okay? But this is still true of a reflection of the sun. Here is the real sun, and the real sun has actually been filmed through trees. And this is a secondary reflection of the real sun, and this is a secondary reflection of the silhouette of the trees that the sun has been filmed through. And um, to give you an illustration of that, um, this screenshot was posted in a comment by D5UNCR under my video which clearly shows a, um, a silhouette of a, of a building at uh, sunset or sunrise. We've got the, the real sun there, and we've got a secondary reflection, and we've also got a third reflection there. And we can clearly see the silhouette of this building in the secondary reflection and also the third one. Now, the other thing that we notice in this um, reflection here is, is that we can see a spot. This is a sunspot. And, in fact, it is active region... Uh, 2470, if you look up in the URL here, you can see that it's got the date of 20th of December, okay? And uh, we're going to look at some images here. Uh, these screenshots were provided to me uh, by Dave Walker, who is on my Vortex 
discussion page on Facebook, and uh, he pointed out that we can clearly see, I'll just uh, bring that up so we can see it closer, we can clearly see the sunspot in this image, and uh, let me zoom that out for you. So yes, there's the silhouette of the tree, but this is actually a reflection of the of the sun, and there is that sunspot that we see in the in the other image here, this one here. There's a close up of it. Okay, so uh, let me bring that back up there, um, and here is another shot of it with the the silhouette. We can actually see two areas of sunspots there. And Dave Walker, who does a lot of photography himself, has provided this image um, of the sun through this tree here. And you can see this secondary reflection. Uh, let's take a closer look at that one. Okay, so we can see the secondary reflection down here of the real sun through the trees. And we can see the silhouette of the trees. We can see the effect of the sunlight and the, the glow from the trees in the secondary reflection. And uh, no doubt if Dave Walker had actually extended his finger out in front of the camera uh, over the sun, then first of all it would have blocked out the secondary reflection, it would have disappeared. And then if he shifted his finger to the side where the secondary reflection was, it would be superimposed over his finger, just as we see in the, um, the finger test here by BBQ Stew. And uh, congratulations to GFP for um, finally discovering sunspots on the sun. Uh, you know, it took Galileo until 1611 to uh, aim one of the first telescopes at the sun and uh, discover that there were sunspots on the sun. So uh, well done, GFP. Um, you're about 400 years behind, but uh, well done. You're finally catching up there, so I guess there's some credit due there. So um, once again, as I said in my uh, previous video, um, I look forward to seeing a proper finger test video from Jeff P, where he extends his finger out in front of his camera um, and puts it over the sun and also over where he is seeing his Nibiru's moon so that we can see whether his uh, Nibiru's moon is real or not. Well, we already know the answer to that, but uh, at least, Jeff, if you can provide a video to answer this conclusively or not, and it would be nice if you could actually uh, do another video like this one, instead of uh, this one here, which is really a bit of a dog's breakfast and uh, very hard to see anything at all, even when you do your finger test here at the end. I'll just play that little bit again. So, there I got my finger in front of it. Okay, yeah. so hopefully you just heard Jeff say, I've got my finger in front of it, and we can clearly see that his Nibiru's moon is actually over his finger. This dark area here is actually his finger. So this proves that this cannot be an object next to the sun if it's superimposed over his finger. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X, or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching. Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Tuesday, December 22nd, 2015, and this is a follow-up to my recent video, Nibiru Moon Next to the Sun, Jeff P., where we looked at uh, one of uh, Jeff P.'s videos, where he claimed to be showing uh, Nibiru's moon, rising with the sun. Uh, now there's a comment, I'm just going to scroll down, this is my video that I uploaded yesterday, but I'm going to scroll down to this um, comment that was left, and I won't try and pronounce the name because I'll, I'll probably butcher it, um, but this comment was left, if you watch his most recent video, he does the finger test without blocking out the light source, and you can see the object on his fingers. They purposely mess up the finger test in order to keep the viewers coming back because they know if done correctly, their Nibiru disappears. And as you can see, I've replied, uh, ah, so I see, so I've taken a look at the video. Even though he hasn't done it properly, he still debunks his own video because we see his Nibiru's moon over his finger. Case closed. So we'll take a look at that in this, um, in this video by Jeff P, which is his most recent video. Uh, this video was uploaded before I did my video, but um, I think I looked at the, the first part of this video and didn't see anything outstanding. 